So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think that turned out pretty well. Obviously it needs a lot of a clean up, but um, yeah, I think when I remake that in carbon fiber, that should be fine. Uh, by the way, for those who are wondering, um, I'm powering my uh, Makita router via a gerbil speed version four. Uh, and yeah, so you can kind of see the wires sneaking into the top of the router. They go back to my control box, which is where the Joel Speed 4 is, and yeah, that has a relay that's inside of here, uh, and the electronics are in there, so that actually enables it to uh, do full speed control from 10,000 to, uh, in my case, 28,000 RPM. I think that's uh, just a 50 hertz um, uh, thing. I think if you've got uh, 60 hertz uh, power, then you get the full 30,000 RPM, but uh, yeah, for me, makes absolutely no difference um, so yeah as you can see I, that cut quite well so I was actually cutting that um, at a uh, thousand millimeters a minute I think it was um, and using a um, titanium coated um, tiny, yeah I think it's titanium coated uh, carbide um, and a burr bit so um, yeah one of those um, bits, so 2.4 millimeter. Uh, some of my holes are only about three millimeters, uh, so 2.4 seemed to be a pretty good compromise. Uh, so yeah, that uh, didn't take too long at all. It took about 14 minutes, um, I think, all up. So yeah, about 14 minutes. So pretty happy with that. Um, I do have uh, a new electronics case project in the works. Um, I do need to spend a bit more time figuring out the. Uh, orientation of everything but yeah as you can see um, the 36 volt power supply and some external stepper motor drivers um, my stepper motors can actually handle two and a half amps um, but unfortunately my current drivers can only do about 1.8 if they're lucky uh, so that will be nice to, to have those um, and yeah the intention is that um, it goes inside uh, this nice big box um, just put that over there uh, so yeah, that will all be in there, um, all the cables and everything will come out the bottom here. I'm going to use um, uh, GX16s, I think it is, I think they're called. Um, and uh, yeah, the intention is to mount it up here and the cables will come up and around. I think that should, uh, should work pretty well. I just need to uh, finish planning it and, uh, and then build it. Um, I've got some DIN rails as well, which I'll probably use, um, I think. Anyway, we'll see. I, I haven't really decided yet. I'm still playing around in Fusion 360 and as to how I want to do that. But uh, yeah, I think that will be a pretty nice upgrade. Oh yeah, and I'm, I'm using this old Microsoft Sidewinder joypad that I found in my box of stuff. Um, just using a little key mapping program um, so that way I can, uh, you know, map the... Um, direction buttons and, and whatnot and can change the step values and move it up and down and, and set um, you know set the X, Y, Z, etc. Um, so yeah, anyway, hope you enjoyed that little video on, on my CNC machine actually doing some real things. Um, yeah, I might actually make a video when I um, make my carbon fiber version. Um, I did actually have one crack at this already, um, but uh, I made the mistake of not prototyping at first and uh, wasted a decent chunk of, uh, of carbon fiber, much to my immense irritation. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, there's uh, some of the leftovers, nice formula carbon fiber. Uh, but yeah, I've got, a, got another piece coming and uh, yeah, I think um, this stuff is pretty beefy. So it looks blue because of the uh, plastic on it, but um, yeah, that'll make a good um, uh, bed carriage uh, for the x-axis slash y-axis, uh, uh, yeah, sorry, y-axis of my uh, 3D printer. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you around. Bye -bye.